Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. The popular television show, Game of Thrones. Who hasn't seen this show? It is watched by millions of people around the world. And a lot of these shots have been taken in a place called Dubrovnik in Croatia. And if you ever go there, you can take a tour, many tours, and see some of the sites where some of the footage has been used for the television show. I mean, look at this place. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, population of 2,500 people, and it is absolutely stunning. But they've got a problem, and the problem is too many people love this place, and cruise ships are coming in. Uh, sometimes uh, they're having problems where they just have too many. Upwards of 13 ships a day at, uh, have been recorded coming here, but it's not uncommon for eight at a time to be coming in. Look at the tour buses down there that you can see beside the ships to see how big these things are. And here's the problem. Too many fans in too small a space and they haven't got the time to see it all. They want to see it all, they want to do it all, but here's the problem. It's become worse than a Disneyland. People who live here are just furious. Uh, 2,500 people, their town is being overrun. Uh, all of these folks who are well-meaning are on, in effect, full-blown prepaid tours where they're bussed in, they're dropped off with a tour guide, they uh, hit the streets, look at the different sites, get as many photos in as they can, and then get back on the bus, head back to the cruise ship, and head out of port. Some of these folks are, are, are here for anywhere from three to six hours, depending on the cruise line, and so they're basically in a hurry to get it done, and uh, this just doesn't make for a pleasant experience. Uh, I, for one, I don't mind crowds when I'm in New York City because that's what I'm expecting, but not when I'm in a quaint place like this. The bus situation is organized, but oh my gosh, the diesel fumes coming off of all of these buses have just got to be overwhelming the locals and visitors alike. It, it can't be a pleasant thing. The noise, the congestion, uh, not good. Again, here's another shot of the port of the Dubrovnik. You can see how the buses are just lined up to get the passengers in. It's the most efficient way to do it, but uh, you know what? The place is getting loved to death, and that is a shame. Uh, the city is trying to limit how many people are coming in at a time. They're trying to limit it to 4,000 people at a time uh, so that the area can handle the crush of people. 800,000 day visits last year, 3 million overnight visits in the area. Uh, they're just having a tough time with uh, too many people loving the, uh, the area. And that's really the issue. A lot of folks are there to take selfies. And uh, this is what you think about when you uh, think about Croatia and, uh, and Dubrovnik. But unfortunately, reality is a lot different. I cannot imagine being an actor trying to walk the streets of that town. That would be impossible. These people would be mauled to death. It's crazy. Anyway. Thanks for joining me today. It's Bruce with Traveling with Bruce. This is one of those stories where cruise ships uh, can do harm if they're not regulated properly. And what can I say? Dubrovnik is just a victim of its own success these days. But Game of Thrones, you can't argue with the success of the show. Join me Monday to Friday live, 5 o'clock Eastern and Saturdays at 2 Eastern. We talk cruise ships six days a week. Looking forward to seeing you. Bye for now.